thank you very much po, Sir Noni. At um, ipinag-adya ng ating Diyos na magkaroon ng isang sharing about memory enhancement. A lot of people are not aware that there are actually techniques and things that a person can do in order to help a person improve their ability to think. Okay, so uh, I will formally start my presentation for today. And since we have um, a mix of audience from kids to adults, ang ginawa ko po is the average, yung magkakaroon tayo ng mga activities. There will be discussions. Right after discussions, you will have to answer some questions to verify if you are able to follow and understand our lessons. Okay? So, um, PowerPoint, please. Okay, so next. Okay, so first, we need to find out what are the common memory problems that people normally encounter. We have, number one, lessons and instructions. Okay, so for example, especially for students, has it ever happened to you when you enter the classroom, the teacher started discussing the lessons, and right at the moment the teacher leave the door, you suddenly forget everything that you studied? Yes, <laughs> someone even raised his hand, okay? Okay, and then for instructions, it normally happens in the company setup or if you have any task that you need to accomplish. For example, um, your boss gives you a certain job and then normally you will see people writing down notes on paper. And then if you suddenly lose your paper, everything will be forgotten as well. So with the help of a memory system, your mind will have the ability to process information faster than ordinary. Okay? And then, we also have, uh, what else are the common memory problems that people normally encounter? We also have cell phones and wallets. And then, if only we will have that, like, um, a, the ability or a machine or something to put a GPS on every device that we use, not just our cell phones, not just our um, cars, even siguro yung wallets natin, wallet, bag, lagyan natin ng GPS tracker so that when we misplace something, we can just miscall it or trace where that specific item is located already. What else? For those who are driving, we have car keys or house keys. Some people, they put their house keys um, outside the door. There's a pot, a plant, or somewhere um, outside that is hidden so that, for instance, you forget where you put your keys, you can just retrieve it easily okay, using a duplicate. And medicines. So for medicines... Um, others would, uh, for adults, we have maintenance medicines. Uh, there, there are already medicines which has label at the back, which says you have to drink it on a Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. But even if it's that the case, uh, even if that's the case, people tend to forget to drink their medicines on the correct time. For kids, vitamins. Have you drink your vitamins already? So something like that. What else? Other things that people normally forget, we have names and faces. This is actually one of the most requested topic for memory enhancement. Sometimes you're walking to a park or you're walking around the mall and then suddenly someone called you, Hi Mark or Hi Brian, something like that. And then paglingon mo, when you look around, you suddenly forgot the person's name. You just remember that maybe this person is a part of your uh, childhood friends, classmates, or a part of a certain group. Then after two or three days, we will suddenly remember the name of the person. So 
we can also try to find out why sometimes our brain trolls us. When we need the information, it suddenly goes away. It suddenly disappears. And then when you don't need the information anymore, it just comes handy. <laughs> okay? What else? Then we have personal information. It can be related to things like hobbies, sports, or other details of your friends or colleagues. For example, for the kids, what if your classmate told you before that they have allergies with seafoods or shrimps? And then you invited your friends over to your house. You forgot to tell your parents that you have a classmate who has food allergies. So those little things, those little information can actually be fatal. Okay, your friend might be rushed to the hospital for emergency because of eating seafood. Okay, next. We also have numbers. So for most of the adults, you will notice that during the time when smartphones is not a staple in every household, we tend to remember all the contact numbers of our friends. Mostly, uh, for people who are from the Philippines, the landline numbers has seven digits, and then now it becomes eight digits. But even if it only has a few digits, people tend to write it. Now, everyone has cell phones, especially the kids. You tend to save every information that you need to remember on your gadgets. So what happens is that our brain is not exercise anymore. Our brain, just like any other muscle in our body, also needs to be exercised. Okay? And then uh, we also have, uh, next, we also have dates and appointments. So sometimes this is a common problem with people in a relationship. They forget the birthdays, anniversary, and we are lucky now we can thank Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook because somehow he helps us remember important events through notifications. But without it, maybe we will be in big trouble of forgetting a lot of things that we really have to remember. Okay? And then, we also have this scenario called the tip of, uh, sorry, shopping list. So for shopping list, you will notice your parents when they go to the grocery store. Normally, they have a paper, they check everything that they need to buy, and then once they get it, they just cross it out. So later, we will try to find out and we will try to do an activity wherein you will memorize a set of grocery list or shopping list without actually seeing it. So what we will be practicing there is our auditory memory, being able to remember things that you just hear. Okay? And then we also have the tip of the tongue scenario. So tip of the tongue scenario happens when you have an idea on your mind but you can't say it out loud. So what people say is that, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. In Tagalog, nasa dulo la ng dila ko. Okay? So other people will say, oh, ah, dila ka. Huhilahay natin yan. <laughs> okay? And lastly, have you ever experienced walking towards a room and suddenly ask yourself, what am I doing here? Yeah. Or you open the fridge and suddenly ask yourself, what am I supposed to get in here? Okay. So that thing is called a boundary effect. Boundary effect or doorway effect. Why? Actually, on the first part of our seminar, we are trying to really get to know how our brain works. So with boundary effect, when a person enters an opening, 
whether it has a door or not, it flashes our mind to prepare it for the new information that we will see on the next room or on the next area. So during that very quick process, sometimes some imp uh, information gets lost. Other people would try to rewind back by walking backwards or walking again towards the room where they just um, came from. Okay? But those things are actually cause of the sudden loss of focus. Maybe you have a lot of things that you need to accomplish. You're multitasking. So uh, part of the information is suddenly forgotten. And then, of course, our sharp memory can help that scenario to be avoided. Now, people would also normally ask me, how do some memories get lost? Bakit ba nawawala yung memory? Because it's not just important to learn the common memory problems or the techniques. We also need to know what are the reasons why we forget things so that somehow, if there's a possibility of avoiding it, we can actually avoid it. Okay? So the first thing is, why do some memories get lost is focus. That's the number one enemy of a person who is being forgetful. When your focus is suddenly lost, the information will be hard to remember. Okay, for example, you're studying the surroundings where you are studying is very important. Um, especially uh, in the Philippine set of the neighborhood are very close. And then when a person is studying, suddenly the karaoke or the video of the neighbors will sound off. Pagkakantahan na yung mga kapitbahay natin. So it can be distracting. In the classroom setup, while the teacher in, is discussing the lesson, it can be avoided wherein your classmates are talking to each other. Okay, so it can also uh, cause a sudden loss of focus. Okay, what else? Uh, besides focus, other things that causes memory loss is stress or depression. When you are sad, when a person is undergoing an emotional burden, of course, if he is doing a specific task, it is somehow forgotten. Because your focus is on your emotional burden. And um, who among you knows the movie Fifty First Dates? Any one of you has watched it? Okay. So, yeah. So, Fifty First Dates, Drew Barrymore, parang every day her memory resets. Okay. So, uh, her partner has to remind her what happened for the day before. Yeah. So before I thought it was just a movie, a movie line, a movie script. Then around two years, two, three years ago, I had a student. Uh, he's a guy, a 20 year old guy, very handsome. He was able to graduate college in a prestigious university in the Philippines. Now, what happened was after his graduation, magisa lang siya sa house. He's just alone. And then yung parents niya are both working. So suddenly, after a year, it snapped. Parang may nag-snap sa kanya. And then he forgets everything. Imagine all his life, 20 years, na wipe out. Ano na lang yung nare-remember niya ngayon? Normally, he just remembers his close family. His mother, father, and one brother. There will be times that he will remember Maybe two or three cousins and then the next morning, wala na naman. Even yung pinag-aralan niya ng college. So, dun sa memory training namin, sometimes we were we are trying to reintroduce yung mga significant people in his life. And then, reintroduce how to communicate and other things. So, it can happen even in later life. Na bigla kang mag-shut down yung mind mo, hindi mo alam talaga kung ano nangyari. Okay? Next, what else are the causes of memory loss? We have sleep deprivation. 
which is of course very common not just to students but also to parents okay when we don't have enough sleep our mind doesn't function really well okay <laughs> so Meron naman tayo, we will notice that, um, especially in school, no, we have classmates na sinasabi, I did not study our lessons and then we will be surprised after the result of the test is released, they got a high score or a perfect score. Now, others would tend to review the night before the exam or the same day of the exam early morning. Okay. Yes, information can be remembered. You can get a higher grade. But the question with that is the ability of a person to remember the information in a longer time. Kumbaga, for others, it would be a short-term memory only. If you reviewed longer or before uh, a few days before the exam, you might have the ability to convert the information from short-term memory to long-term memory. But if it's on a rush, most probably it will just go on your short term, uh, short term memory. Okay. Next, we also have medications. Okay. So there are certain medications down na nakakapag cause ng memory loss, or sometimes those people who um, undergo surgery, especially those people who has given birth, the anesthesia. Definitely, kapag na-injectionan ka ng anesthesia, it can cause memory loss. Okay? And who among you watches telenovelas, teleseries na very common sa atin? Ayan, Korean novelas, Mexican novelas, and all. So, ano yung common na nangyayari? What are the common things that happen to them? Trauma to the head. Nabagok ang ulo ng bida. And then, nakalimutan niya na kung sino siya sa trauma to the head or nauntog. There's temporary amnesia and then there's permanent amnesia. So, it's a mixture of things that just develop or meron din yung natural things or medical things which causes memory loss. Okay? What else? Um, we also have stroke. Yung mga tao, especially the elder ones, kapag ka na-stroke sila, you will notice na minsan parang nagbe-baby talk na sila or they would forget some of their friends, immediate family or relatives na lang yung maaalala nila. Okay? And also, we have age. So, sino dito yung naniniwala na age affect memory loss? Can you raise your hands? Yes. Uh, meron bang hindi naniniwala na uh, age affects memory loss? Can you, oh, yun, si, si sir na nasa likod, hindi naniniwala. Okay. Siyempre, coach, nakasulat dyan eh, sa slide nyo. So, definitely, age affect memory loss. But, pero siyempre, may but. But that statement will only hold true for people who stop learning. Oh, why? Yeah, kasi in the Philippines, um, this a training center ko is from 8 years old to 75 years old, yung parang naka-publish na tinuturuan namin. I personally handled several senior citizens, the eldest is 71, pero sometimes I've talked with 75 or 80 years old who still have sharp memory or sharp mind. So, Ano yung difference nila? If adults continue to use their uh, their mind, like those people who are involved in the industry or they are involved in the ministry, doing things, doing business, doing other tasks, their memory still uh, remains sharp. But those senior citizens na pagdating ng senior times, bigla na lang nag-stop ng working, bago yung brain natin. And then suddenly, magugulat tayo, it will not function as better as before. Kaya it's suggested na even if 
um elder people uh starts to uh what's the term yung pagka nag retire na sila try to keep your uh, mind busy not busy but try to keep doing other activities or brain exercises as well para maging sharp pa rin yung mind natin hindi lang mag-aalaga ng apo ganyan kasi common sa atin when elder uh, for elder people nag-aalaga na lang na apo mas maganda meron pa rin kayong personal activities for chinese other people na na-encounter ko yung anong activity nila ang libangan mahjong yes so basically yung um adult nakalimutan nila a lot of things but they still know how to play mahjong okay And then next, uh-huh. we also have dementia. So the, eto naman yung mga natural causes, dementia or, ah, uh, yung pinaka common example ng dementia is Alzheimer's. Now, yung memory system namin, kasi hindi naman ako doktor, yan hindi naman kami doktor. Pero ano yung um yung statement namin regarding this? Kapag ka nandun na yung early onset ng ah uh, nag may dementia na yung tao, may Alzheimer's na, it will be hard to uh, sharpen pa yung mind niya kasi it's a natural cause. Eh. Pero what memory techniques can do is to hasten the development or to prevent yung early onset of dementia. There was a US memory athlete na kaya siya nag um, study ng memory techniques before kasi we are called memory athletes. Before I became a coach a memory enhancement speaker i was a former memory athlete so one of my friends yung um grandmother niya has dementia so he was afraid na ma-develop agad yun sa kanila kasi nasa lahi so nag-undergo siya ng memory training now he became i think the fourth time us memory champion Yan. So there's kumbaga hindi siya uh, and the common question to me is do you need to be a genius in order to become a memory expert, a memory athlete or a memory student? No. Kasi it's a skill that you can develop. Okay? Hindi siya yung parang the reason why we are trying to uh, promote our advocacy for a sharper memory is because hindi namin ito ginawa we did not do it for people who already are, have a sharp mind but also to help people who are struggling to remember other things yes okay so next marami tayong heads na nagnanod na then we also have substance abuse so of course alcohol to anything too much is dangerous alcohol or illegal drugs can be a cause it can be a cause of memory loss as well as other causes which involves vitamin deficiency and um hiv so there are studies na nakakapag-cause din siya ng memory loss okay So next, uh, I think uh, next slide tayo. Ah, yeah. So correct. Uh, demo. So ano yung quick demo natin? Quick memory skill demo. Earlier, I asked the audience to uh, Sister Rhea to give 30 random items. So, yung magiging demo natin ngayon, this is an example of auditory memory wherein yung mga words na binigay ninyo, the words that you gave, I will try to remember it just by listening to it. Okay? So, one, uh, siguro babasahin once, twice, maximum thrice. So, babasahin ni Sister Rhea. First time, babasahin niya 1 to 30. And then, I will try to be silent muna for a moment to review the words that I heard uh, heard in my mind. If something is not um, heard clearly or hindi ko na-encode properly sa mind ko, I will ask the number. So, hanggang maximum twice, thrice. And then, when I'm ready, i-recite ko na yung words. Okay? So, Sister Rhea. Papa 
Ipapakita po natin yung um, uh, slides. All right. Si Coach po ay nakapikit ngayon. <laughs> Blindfolds, baka sabihin may magic pa or something. So, yan. Yeah. So, we're not, we don't normally use blindfolds during demo para the audience can really see na nakaklose lang yung eyes na. Okay. Okay po. So, we will show the 30 random uh, words that uh, we have dun sa screen natin para lahat tayo ano, familiar. Nandyan po sa may ad, bro. Okay po. Number one. Love. 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 Number two. Spam Usubi. Number three. Technology. Number four, rose. Rose, not flower. Number five, cell phone. Number six, popcorn. Number seven, coronavirus. <laughs> Number eight, mushroom. mushroom. Number nine, disco ball. Disco ball? Apa. Number ten, Kitchen. Number eleven. Mango. Number twelve. Bible. Number thirteen. Fried chicken. Think hungry yung mga nagbigay nito. <laughs> Number 14. Jacket. Number 15. Camera. Number 16. Happiness. Number 17, flute. Apa. Number 18, microwave. Number 19, pouch. Number 20, tripod. Number 21, pink, color pink. Number 22, flower. flower. Number 23, xylophone. Number 24, cheek. Cheek. Kiss me. Hindi. <laughs> Number 25. Number 25. DVD. 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 Number 26. Aircon.
Number 27, mineral water. Number 28, faucet. Number 28 Apa. number 29 trigonometry number 30 Washington mire review ko lang yung mga words sa mind ko Number three by cell phone. And technology. And technology, sorry. Ah, five yung cell phone, sorry. Mm -hmm. Si Dancel nakapikit din. <laughs> Excited na ako makita si Dancel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I'm ready. So, continue pa lang na naka-close lang yung eyes ko. Then, let me know immediately pag meron akong error. So, we'll try to see kung ilan yung makukuha ko out of 30. We have number one, love. Two is spam musubi. Mm -hmm. Hindi ko alam yung pagkain. So, spam musubi. Three is technology. Four, rose. Mm -hmm. Five, Cell phone, mm -hmm. six popcorn, seven coronavirus, eight mushroom, nine disco ball, ten kitchen, eleven mango, twelve Bible, thirteen fried chicken, fourteen jacket, fifteen camera, sixteen happiness, seventeen flute, eighteen microwave, nineteen. Pouch, 20, tripod, mm -hmm. 21, pink, 22 is flower, 23, xylophone, 24, chick, 25, DVD, 26, aircon, 27, mineral water, 28, faucet, 29, trigonometry, 30, washing. Perfect. So, yun po yung sample ng may trained memory. Yan. So, wala po may CCTV po ako sa, sa likod. <laughs> may third eye. Fourth eye. Okay? And... With that, so, ayan, hindi ko pa din nakikita yung word. Basically, I showed that demo, hindi para magbida-bida, syempre, kundi para makita nyo na ito yung ability ng isang person na may sharp brain, which is, syempre, ituturo ko rin sa inyo later on kung paano yung mga techniques in the Ayan. And not just that, with memory... People normally think that, uh, especially for parents, no, ito yung na normally I encounter uh, na question before. Um, coach, baka mamaya, that is kabisote style, meaning they just remembered it, but they don't actually understand what's happening. So sa atin, yung training program na ginawa namin is, of course, syempre kasama yung comprehension para kahit lituhin yung person, maaalala pa rin niya. For example, yung 1 to 30, okay, so nakaklose pa rin yung eyes ko. Uh, can anyone give me a number from 1 to 30? 
Number 13 is fried chicken. Okay? Correct. And six. Okay? Number six, popcorn. Okay? Pwede din word. Halimbawa, magbigay kayo ng word? 27. Uh, uh, number 27 is mineral water. Tama po. Okay. Paki-show paki, uh, po yung words. Coronavirus is number seven. Okay? And lastly, of course, to make it more challenging, I can even say the words in reverse. So, backwards. Okay? So, parang yung narinig ko, naka-embed na siya sa brain ko. Again, wala pong magic dito. It's purely memory skill. Okay? So, I'll, I'll quickly say the words from number 30 going to number one. We have Washington Trigonometry Faucet. Mineral water, aircon, DVD check, xylophone, flower pink, tripod pouch, microwave flute, happiness, camera, jacket, fried chicken, Bible, mango, uh, kitchen, magluluto na yan. Okay. Kitchen, disco ball, mushroom, coronavirus, so... Popcorn, cell phone, um, rose, technology, spam, musubi, and love. Perfect po. Ang galing. Okay. So, ayan na. Kakabakaba na. So, again, uh, ito pala yung mga words. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, hindi lang din siya common items. You can remember ideas, mga concepts. And um, basically, a lot of other things when you get used to it, mga terminologies, scientific words, whatever. Okay? So, next tayo. Inom lang akong water. Okay. So, sino po si Dad?